Welcome to this Blackpill Music Skill video all about the tips and tricks that you can use to hopefully get you more gigs, which is the main aim, isn't it, as a performer? So, let's get started. You can watch these videos in any order, it makes no difference. You don't have to do anything or just some of the things I mention in these videos. These are all a few tips and tricks that make me your gig run more smoothly. In this one, we are talking about crowds. Now, I'm talking from a rock perspective here. So, if somebody wants a disco band, there's no point booking me, because I don't play any disco. I play 60s and 70s mainly, hard rock, rock and roll, maybe a bit of 50s as well. So, if somebody's looking for a disco band, I'd say, sorry, we are not that band. Some people think they can go and do the gig and win them over. And uh, no, you won't. Not really. They might they might enjoy you, they might enjoy your songs, your performance, your band, but if they're looking for a disco band, they want a disco band. If it's a jazz club and they want a jazz band and you're going in there playing rock and roll, yeah, they might enjoy your set, but it's not really what they wanted. They wanted a jazz band. So you have to know where you're playing. Now, some people will say, Ah, well, yeah, we're playing everywhere and getting our name out. You don't want a bad name. You want a good name. You don't want people saying, yeah, well, they turned up, but it wasn't the music we wanted. So you have to ask people if they want music to dance to. You ask, well, is it disco dancing? Is it rock and roll dancing? Is it classical dancing? Is it like Blackpool Tower ballroom dancing? So you need to ask a few questions just to see what sort of band they want because the people themselves might not really know. So you might say, is it an afternoon tea dance? Well, in that case, you're going to have to do a waltz, a rumba, a foxtrot and many of the other dances. They will not want four to the four hard rock songs at that. By all means, you can say that's what you do and if they book you, they know. But don't just roll up and say, yes, we do tea dances or we do jazz or we do pop or we do rock or soul funk, reggae, whatever the musical form. If you don't do it, mention it to the performer or to say the person booking you that you're not that type of performer. It's better in the long run because if you turn up and you're not the right band, the gig is just hard work. It's hard work because they're really not into that type of music. Even if you're in that field, um, let's take jazz for an example, they might want a trad jazz band, you may be a bebop band, which is a different form of jazz. So you've got to sort, even in your own circle, so say like rock music, they might want 50s rock, 60s rock, but you might just do 70s rock. Well, that's not the rock they wanted. They wanted 50s and 60s and you don't do it. By all means, like I say, mention it at the gig and if they still want you, it's up to you whether you do it, but the gig could be, shall we say, fall on stony ground. It may not be a great gig and you are only as good as your last gig. If your last gig was a disaster and went down like a lead balloon, people might not book you again. You want every gig to be marvellous. You want people to go, yeah, it was a great gig, they really helped. And, and this applies to whatever music you play. If you play jazz, yeah, and you go in a jazz club and you knock them dead, marvellous. But if your last gig was at a hard rock venue and they didn't want that, yeah, your name can be shall we say, not worth booking again. So by all means, that. But try and only play places where you know your music will go down well. On a side note, don't think that you can play any type of music. You can sort of, but there's elements in your sort in music that you might not know. And there can be little things, little, little, little embellishments that people in jazz, soul, funk, rock folk they all have little things that they do that you might not know and then you can stand out that you're not really into that music some people can blend and do anything but most people specialize in a certain field so if you are going to do a gig make sure you mention exactly what you do to the club owner even so much as to send them the set list you're going to play and say is this the sort of stuff you mean because a good gig is a great gig and if you're open and honest they might book you for another event even if it's that one they're not what you want so I hope you found this video useful if you have 
please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Black Pill Music School for more videos. The more thumbs up we get and the more subscribers they get, we will post more videos. So, help our channel grow. Thank you very much for watching and as always, goodbye.